Welcome to Chuck Builds. This is the third video in my Rage Against the Garage Door Opener series where I have a Rage Against the Garage Door Opener by Paul Wieland and we're going to get this set up for installation. We first need to get a firmware installed onto this device and to do so we'll go to Paul Wieland's GitHub and then we will connect our device via USB to the computer. You do need to be in Chrome or Edge for this to work. And we're gonna scroll down to the quick start section and click this top link for installing the firmware. And then we're going to choose the 2.5 board because that's the one that I have. And then we'll click connect. We'll choose our USB serial port, COM8, click connect. And we're going to click install Rage Against the Garage Door Opener or install RAT GDO, this top option here. We're going to erase the device, click next and install. All right, our installation is complete. So we'll click next and then we're going to get connected to our Wi-Fi. And then we will visit the device on the network. So this will take you to the IP address for the device and we get this landing page or firmware kind of page. So for the device name, I'm gonna leave it as the default. And then for the web password, I've got a generated one from Bitwarden that I'll drop in. The Wi-Fi is already set up. It already has an IP address. We just did that in the last step. Uh, the MQTT server, I host my MQTT server inside of my Home Assistant OS virtual machine. So I'm going to be putting in my Home Assistant IP address here. For the MQTT port, I'm going to use the default 1883. For the server username, you should go and create a username inside of your Mosquito Broker. Um, you can do so if you use Home Assistant by just creating a user, or you can go to the configuration section of Mosquito Broker and add it to the logins under options. That's what I did. And my name for this is RATGDO. And then I'll take the password that I set. And then the topic prefix is going to be what is broadcasted out on your MQTT uh, network. And so for this one, I'm gonna use the name of the door that this is attached to. So I'm gonna do alley gate. And then the door protocol, I'm gonna come down here and I am going to be using the dry contacts, which says it's in beta testing. This specific gate that I'm putting this on does not have the MyQ Plus 2.0. So I'm going to be using the dry contacts. However, depending on your opener, you should change this based on what you're connecting to. So then I'll click save config and reboot. And so the device is rebooted. We can see our settings are saved. And then inside of MQTT Explorer, the add-on for Home Assistant, we can see that the Alligate Rage Against Garage Door Opener has been registered with our MQTT service. And then it's all hooked up and connected. So at this time, you are done with the firmware portion of setting up the Rage Against the Garage Door Opener. Check out one of my three other videos that will be coming out after this on how to actually connect it. This specific one, I'll be setting up with my RAM set gate on my back alley gate, but I will also have a jack shaft garage door opener that's my plus security 2.0 and a front push arm gate that is also my plus security 2.0. This specific MQTT that we have set up in this video is dry contacts. If you want dry contacts, be sure to check out the alley gate video next. Thanks for watching.